Good morning, everybody. Say hi. This is Daisy, and I'm Miss Melissa, and I wanted to let you guys know how much we miss you. Mr. Edmund and Miss Stephanie and Miss Courtney and Miss Alex and Mr. Maddox, we all miss you so much. And Daisy says hi. Today, we're going to read a book to you called, let me put my puppy down, called Scaredy Squirrel. Have you ever been afraid of something or scared? I have too. This squirrel is scared of everything. And so he decides to live up in his tree and he misses out on a lot of things. So we're going to find out what happens when he's forced out of his tree. This was my daughter's very favorite book when she was a little girl. And this is her copy. I still have it. All right, let's read the book. Scaredy Squirrel by Melanie Watt, and also illustrated by Melanie Watt. That means she wrote the book and did the pictures you see. Warning, Scaredy Squirrel insists that everyone wash their hands with antibacterial soap before reading this book. Scaredy Squirrel never leaves his nut tree. He'd rather stay in his safe and familiar tree than risk venturing out into the unknown. The unknown can be a scary place for a squirrel. You see it's pointing, the arrow is pointing to the unknown. A few things Scaredy Squirrel is afraid of. Green Martians, killer bees, tarantulas, poison ivy, germs, and sharks. Do you think Scaredy Squirrel is going to come in contact with the shark in the middle of the woods? He is silly. So, he's perfectly happy to stay right where he is. Advantages of never leaving the nut tree. Great view, plenty of nuts, safe place, no tarantulas, poison ivy, green martians, killer bees, germs, or sharks. Disadvantages of never leaving the nut tree. Same old view, same old nuts, same old place. In Scaredy Squirrel's nut tree, every day is the same. Everything is predictable. All is under control. And let's look at the illustrations or the drawings. On Monday, he's on top of his tree. On Tuesday, he's on the other side of his tree. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Scaredy Squirrel's daily routine. He's up at 6.45. He eats a nut at 7 a.m. He looks at a view at 7.15. At 12 noon, he eats a nut. At 12.30, he looks at a view at 5 o'clock. Guess what he does? He eats a nut. At 531, you're right, he looks at view. And then at 8 o'clock, he goes to sleep. Does that sound like a fun day? But, let's say, just for example, that something unexpected did happen. You can rest assured that this squirrel is prepared. And he's got his little in case of emergencies case there. A few items in Scary Squirrel's emergency kit. A hard hat. Antibacterial soap. Calamine lotion. Parachute. Bug spray. Mask and rubber gloves. A net. A band-aid. And sardines. What to do in case of an emergency according to Scary Squirrel. Step one, panic. Step two, run. Step three, get kit. Step four, put on kit. Step five, consult exit plan. Step six, exit tree. If there's absolutely, definitely, truly no other option. Here's his exit plan drawn out and he says it's top secret. Exit one, note to self. Watch out for green Martians and killer bees in the sky. Exit two, 
Note to self, do not land in river. If unavoidable, use sardines to distract sharks. Exit three. Note to self, look out for poison ivy and for tarantulas roaming on the ground. Exit four. Note to self, keep in mind that germs are everywhere. Remember, if all else fails, playing dead is always a good option. You see, he's looking in his binoculars. I think a few of you had binoculars at school. With his emergency kit in hand, Scaredy Squirrel watches. Day after day, he watches until one day, Thursday, 9.37 a.m. What does he see in his binoculars? A killer bee appears. Scaredy Squirrel jumps in panic, knocking his emergency kit out of the tree. This was not part of the plan. Scaredy Squirrel jumps to catch his kit. He quickly regrets this idea. The parachute is in the kit. But something incredible happens. He starts to glide. Scaredy Squirrel is no ordinary squirrel. He's a flying squirrel. He feels overjoyed, adventurous, carefree, alive, until he lands in a bush. Scaredy Squirrel forgets all about the killer bee, not to mention the tarantulas, poison ivy, green martians, germs, and sharks. And do you see that? He scored himself a 5.7 for that fall. He lands in a bush and plays dead. 30 minutes later, one hour later, see his little eye peeking open? Two hours later? Finally, Scaredy Squirrel realizes that nothing horrible is happening in the unknown today. So, he returns to his nut tree. All this excitement has inspired Scaredy Squirrel to make drastic changes in his life. What changes do you think Scaredy Squirrel is going to make? Scaredy Squirrel's new and improved daily routine. 6.45, wake up. 7 a.m., eat a nut. 7.15, look at view. 9.37, jump into the unknown. 9.45, play dead. 11.45, return home. 12 noon, eat a nut. 12.30, look at view. 5 p.m., eat a nut. 5.31, look at view. And 8 p.m., go to sleep. P.S. As for the emergency kit, Scaredy Squirrel is in no hurry to pick it up just yet. If you look in the corner, you'll see his emergency kit, and it's surrounded by poison ivy. That's a smart squirrel not to touch that. How'd you like Scaredy Squirrel? I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed the story. Listen, what was Scaredy Squirrel afraid of? You're right. He was afraid of a lot of things. But what did he discover? You're right that he didn't need to be scared of all that stuff. What was something else he discovered about himself that was really cool? That he was a flying squirrel. What? He had lived in fear for so long, he didn't even realize that he could fly. Flying squirrels don't actually fly, though. They have, like, flaps, and they hold them out, and they collide. And they really exist. They're in North Carolina, too, but they only come out at night, and so I've never seen one. But apparently, they're teeny tiny. All right, so think about something you've discovered about yourself that you didn't think you could do. Were you proud when you figured out you could do it? Did you want to show everybody? Did it change your whole daily routine? Well, that's what happened to Scaredy Squirrel. And next time I'm going to read to you about when he goes to the beach. Woo! Did you know squirrels go to the beach? I didn't. All right, y'all have a great day. Take care. We miss you, and we hope to see you very soon.